Well, how do their chums? Salute to Mondo. As you can see, people, I'm inside of No Man's Sky. That's really weird, that is, because my laptop's over there. That must... Oh, anyway. Yeah, I always get mixed up, don't I? Right, well, I'm inside of No Man's Sky, and today is another ideas video, people, inside of the viewerverse. But what's today's idea about? Well, let me jump into game and let me show you, peeps. So, if I go into options and go into a general... Not in general, is it? Um, it's, yeah, it's in network. It's in network of all places. If I turn on voice chat, enable, and then if I also turn on speech to text and a translate text, turn all of those on, some pretty amazing things happen, peeps. So over on the side chat, when you're inside of multiplayer, providing that there are other people inside of multiplayer, in a moment, you should, hopefully, over to the left-hand side. Why are you standing on my ship, my friend? I bet your ship's parked there as well, isn't it? But over at the left-hand side, normally you'd see a little text chat up here. And normally it would convert what I'm saying into actual stuffage. Let me just do an emote or something. So, OK, it's not working. Why is it not blanking working? My mic's plugged in. Everything is on. Hold on, let me just go back into networking. Let me just turn on a voice chat. Let me disable that and just leave on these two here. And hopefully it will start working. And it's a little bit fiddly to get it to work. Okay, I've got him off my ship. But now and now he thinks I'm talking to him. I'm not talking to you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying something new. <laughs> now he thinks, oh no, oh dear. Anyways, basically, normally before everything that I was said would have appeared over to... Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Sits down to complete life. No, that's not what it was supposed to do. Everything that I'm saying should be appearing over in that left chat box right now, people. The text-to-speech option used to work. It doesn't appear to be working now. Now, that could be that they're working on it. Now, why would they be working on that, people inside the viewer verse? Well, you see these like little NPCs that we've got scattered about here that have been here for ages, that always say exactly the same stuff and they never say anything meaningful or anything useful. I'm wondering whether these guys might get given an NPC AI. So if you turn on that text to speech, they understand what you're saying. So as you go and talk to these guys, they're going to actually give you proper replies, is what I'm thinking, people. I'm wondering whether that might be coming into the verse. Now, there has been a fair few videos of people doing this with mods inside of the Matrix demo, and it's freaking awesome. If you haven't seen that Matrix demo and seen this in action, where NPCs can be brought to life with some sort of intelligent AI, I'll put a link up there. Be sure to go and watch that. If you don't see the link up there, like if you're on a smart TV, because they've removed that now, YouTube. <sighs> yeah. I'll put a link in the video description. However, I have heard that YouTube are going to be li removing links inside of video descriptions as well. So, yeah, it might be there. It might not be there. I've got a two-prong to this. I've got a two-prong to this. I'm just going to warp myself over to a space station. Now, why is warping over to a space station? Might as well have another little sip of my tea, because this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode. While I drink tea and come up with ideas, tea is the brain fuel of the Steve. Heck yes, it is. And this is a Captain Steve's brew. Heck yes, it's a beautiful Captain Steve's brew. If you do want to try my own brew, my own brand of tea, links are inside the video description as well, people. And they don't just sell tea. They also do coffees. So, yeah, maybe just put a one little batch of Captain Steve tea in there and try something else. Mm. That is seriously yummy. Thank you, yes, it is. Right, back into the old game. So, what am I thinking, people? Right, again, well, you've got these two guys right next to each other. Oh, no, there's actually three of them. OK, so all three of these are the same NPC. Actually, no, they're not. This guy's got horns. These two are... Nope. That one's got horns. OK, so that guy and that guy are exactly the same. They've both got horns. They're both in the same armor. blah de blah de blah They're twins. OK, this guy is slightly different. He's got chrome dome on his head and stuff. But I bet you if I whisked around, I'll probably find another one of him. Basically, there's quite a lot of duplicates. Now, look, there's another one with horns over there. So we've got three of that one. 
Uh, oh, well, we just saw one of him as well. So there's two of that one. And there's a stray Corvax there. But yeah, we've got this guy here twice, this blue guy. He, like, he looks really cool, though, doesn't he, that one? Yeah, that's pretty darn sweet. We've also got vendors of the same NPC type there as well. So there's a lot that are the same. <clears throat> However, what I would say is Hello Games could do a very simple change to make it so they don't all look the same, even though they are using the same sort of textures and character makeup and all that sort of stuff, because they could just change the body type. It's very rare that you see the sort of female sort of more slender body shapes. If I just go to body shape here, we've got five different body shapes. So Hello Games could mix it up a bit. At the moment, they're only using body type one from what, as far as I could tell. They could go for body type two. It'd be cool to actually see a couple of little chubby ones, wouldn't it? Or body type three, which is the more slender type that I'm on about, that looks a little bit more female, you know? Why not? Why not have that one? you know, walking about inside of the old space stations. And there's body type four, which is a little bit shorter, heck yes, and body type five, which is a lot more sort of muscular and chunkier and pretty darn sweet, you know? So why don't they mix up the body types a little bit, people, is what I'm thinking. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's kind of the idea. Because you see over there, there's at least four or five of that same player model, in, if when you count all the vendors as well, because I saw another one over this side. I don't know whether they're going to render in now. Now I've jumped down here. No, look, they've shut all their freaking kiosks. Um, let's just jump back up there, because I'm fairly sure I saw at least one other of the horned variety over here. Um, dum -dum -dum. So we've got him that's got the chrome dome, which we've already seen one of him. We've got another one with the chrome dome. And, oh God, I haven't seen you before. Yeah, I don't want to see you again. And you've got this guy over here. Oh, and he's completely different too. But anyway, you get the idea. If they all had different body types, so a chubby type one, a littler one, female, more slender one, but still had the same makeup of parts, at least they would look a variant of the actual characters we're already seeing here, and it would mix it up a little more, wouldn't it? Now, <clears throat> the whole AI thing that I was talking about earlier, I think really will probably only be applicable to the guys inside the Nexus, the NPCs we've got there. But how cool would it be if they could apply that across every single NPC inside of game? But I, I don't know how taxing that would be. I think that could be quite taxing indeed. And in fact, even inside the Nexus, where it's a very big multiplayer hub, is that even feasible or possible? I don't know, people in the view of us, but I just think it would be a lot nicer to have more deeper, more meaningful interactions with the NPCs, but not only that, to have a little bit more variance and varied body shapes with inside of the NPCs. Heck yes, it would also be cool if there was a station that was just full of travellers. They could call it the Travel Lodge. <laughs> Okay, all right, that's enough of that, Steve. Don't try jokes. Stick to your day job, mate. Stick to your freaking day job. Right, here we go. Let's have another swig of tea. So, yeah, people. Now, these thumbnails for these ideas videos, normally when I do an ideas video, I put a very positive sort of slant on it. Oh, look at this improvement idea. And even my title is, this is how we can enhance X, Y, Z doesn't draw in views, people. So yeah, I am making thumbnails and titles are a little bit more saltier. But when you click on them, you'll find out that it's exactly the same format that I normally do my ideas in. They're very positive. It's just that when you put a bit of drama into your thumbnails and a bit of drama into your titles, it encourages that extra click because people are like, no, how dare you say that about this game? And then when they click in, they find out that, yes, I actually do love the game and it's actually a really gnarly idea. So yeah, anyways, I thought I'd better put that out there because I have had somebody say, why are you hating on the game, Captain Steve? No, I'm not hating on the game. I freaking love the game. I love the game. If anyone knows, I love the game. I, 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 I do. Yeah, I do have a little bit of a rant every now and again over things occasionally where a rant is actually due and it deserves one. But this is very rare. It's very rare. You know, I am very much on par with the rest of the community and i do want the very best out of this game honestly i do and i kind of think those npc sort of you know ai behaviors and also mixing it up a bit with the ai with the, with the character the, the models would add an extra layer of immersion people there's one more other layer of immersion 
Now, if they can already do text-to-speech, which seems to not be working at the moment for whatever reason, I would very much like to change my actual um, train. I'd like to be a traveller. Okay, I'm going to yeah change race. Now, the head type that I like in here is quite an alien head. Let me jump back in and I'll show you what I mean. So you've got this guy. Imagine if, when I'm talking right now, you see his mouth just moved. But wouldn't it be good if it actually done that little animation? It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be lip sync perfect. It could just do open, close, open, close, open, close every time it gets a mic reading. OK, so when I talk, at least it's got a little jibber jabber sort of animation. You know, I don't think I'd go for that one. I mean, it does look quite cool. I could make myself like a little grey alien, couldn't I? A little grey alien, Captain Steve. But at the moment, because it doesn't actually move and open and close when I actually talk, it, it breaks immersion again. If they could actually do some sort of lip sync animation, that'd be freaking awesome. But even if it's just an, an, an animation, that's still great. It's good. It's not brilliant, but it's good. Okay? Okay. It's better than what we've got now. That's the only reason I don't want to have one of these alien type heads is because, you know, the mouth doesn't move when I talk and it just looks very jarring. I, I don't know whether I'd go with that, but that's actually pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh, my days. Um, yeah, that, that looks like the Pink Panther. OK, what's the difference between that one and um, what was it? This one here. Oh, that one's got gnarly eyebrows. OK, all right, fine. Um, what else we got? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, OK, I do like the Eos head, the one that looks like um, a, a giant shark. Yeah, I'm not so keen on that one. Yeah, I like this one, too. This is one of my favorites. I, I, it'll be a choice of that one. A uh, Kronos? No. Oh, geez, no. OK, right. <laughs> I don't know. This one. I quite like this one as well. He's quite cool. He's quite gnarly, isn't he? I quite like that one. That one's quite cool. It'd be a choice of that one or Hesperus, that one. Who else is there that I like? Don't really like per Perseus too much. Mm, too underwatery. No. No, just no. And no. Nope. I quite like that one, but only around Halloween. I think it would be a choice of number one. Hesperus or Eos for me. They're the three that I really like. Sound up in the comments. Let me know which ones that you like the most. But they're the three that I like that could have animated mouth animations. I mean, all of my merch, though, um, has this sort of helmet. This is how people know Captain Steve to look and how Captain Steve could be. So, yeah, this is probably going to be my um, normal look. But I think if I ever take my helmet off, then I can swap to the other heads. If I have it saved as a preset, same sort of armor set, same sort of everything, but just have a different head for when I'm doing news videos and stuff like that and talking to the cam and things, I could I look at pretend I've taken my helmet off, you know? That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Heck yes. Right, anyway, let's jump in my ship and out of my ship. And this is just my space helmet. In fact, it'd be nice if you can swap the views or even just have helmet off mode. Hello, games. A little bit like with uh, Destiny, where you can have helmet on, helmet off, and have two different looks and maybe have a quick swap option, maybe even just using the trackpad or something, you know? I don't know. Or hold down a key and press trackpad or I, I, some button combination. Hello, games, you work it out. Anyway. I'm going to end off now, people, I think. I'm going to go drink the rest of my tea. I hope you like some of my ideas to improve NPCs and also sort of immersion when it comes to your own character. I just threw that in. That's something that's often been on the um, on the old mind of the captain, but, uh, yeah, it's good to put it back out there again, isn't it, peeps? Anyways, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.